Hey YouTube, Bob here. Just wanted to do a quick video on, I guess, what is kind of going to be Mario's Anniversary Unboxed, since today marks the uh, release date of the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game for the Nintendo Switch that uh, Nintendo is releasing as part of a whole series of products to commemorate Mario's 35th anniversary. But uh, to my remembrance, Nintendo first started celebrating Mario's anniversary uh, way back in 2010, uh, 10 years ago now, with uh, the 25th anniversary release of Super Mario All-Stars on the Wii. And then again, kind of, with Super Mario Maker in 2015 for Mario's 30th anniversary. Uh, so we're going to take a look at these, and then I actually have a, an unopened copy of Super Mario 3D All-Stars that we'll take a look at as well. But let's first get into the 25th anniversary uh, Super Mario Brothers Super Mario All-Stars Limited Edition. Now this was released on the Wii back in 2010 to obviously celebrate uh, Mario's 25th anniversary. And it was widely criticized, much like uh, some of Nintendo's offerings this year for um, the 35th anniversary of just being not enough. And uh, in some respects I understand that, and we'll get into that as we take a look at what was available in this package. But speaking of package, from that standpoint, this is actually quite nice. Um, it's got some foil uh, accents here, and it's embossed, which means it's got kind of a 3D texture on the front. Very nice logo to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Super Mario. And if we take a look at the back, it says it's Super Mario's 25th anniversary. In 1985, Nintendo released Super Mario Brothers and changed the world of video games forever. Now you can celebrate the history of Mario with this limited edition release featuring four classic Mario games and new insights to the series. So this game featured Super Mario All-Stars, which was originally released in cartridge format for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1993. And that was pretty much the biggest criticism of this release, is that this is basically just a ROM dump of that cartridge onto a Wii disc. And aside from the Wii controls here, um, which it's touting as new Wii remote controls, which they're pretty much just using the Wii remote as you would an NES or a Super NES controller, so yeah, I don't know if that's really a feature, so to speak. It's the way you're going to play these games on the Wii console, but uh, they're trying to get away with saying it's a new thing. It says, play four of Mario's greatest adventures on one disc. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic is now on the Wii system, featuring four great games and brand new Wii remote controls. So, um, to my remembrance, you know, you just flip it on its side and use it as a traditional controller. I don't really think there were any motion controls added to these games. But but uh, the criticism was is that it was just the exact same games that were available on the Super NES without any updates, either graphically or to the play control. Um, and that kind of mirrors what's going on now, I think, with uh, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Because if I remember correctly, these Super NES enhanced versions of Super Mario Brothers... Super Mario Bros. 2 The Lost Levels, Super Mario Bros. 2 for the United States, and Super Mario Bros. 3, they were never ever released on the Wii Shop channel or the Virtual Console for purchase. They were only ever available here in this collection. So based on that, it might stand to reason that uh, one of the reasons they're having uh, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars uh, be so limited is that they are eventually going to re-release it for download only uh, once the physical copy is kind of lost and forgotten. And that might even include uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. From, from Based on what we know right now, I don't think it's a, a part of the new Super Mario 3D All-Stars. But maybe there's some parallels there with what went on with the Wii and the fact that these were never available uh, for download on the Wii Shop channel or the Virtual Console. So we'll have to see. Only time will tell. But the other thing that's included in this package is Super Mario History 1985 to 2010. Take a look back at 25 years of Super Mario Brothers with this limited edition soundtrack CD and history booklet. See the evolution of Mario from plumber to superstar. 
So even this offering was kind of criticized as being fairly limited. Mario at that point had so many games and this soundtrack collection offers a rather paltry uh, selection of tracks to listen to. And the same criticism was made against the book. But we're going to take a look at that now. I'm going to open up uh, this package here. Back when Nintendo was sealing things with those uh, big clear plastic stickers. Oh, wait, no, actually, we're not even ready to do that yet because there's more to this packaging that I've just remembered as, as I feel around the side here. This is what makes this uh, packaging actually kind of cool, is that there's this Velcro tab that gives you a little uh, opening to this door here that uh, sheds some more light on what's inside the package here. So relive four of Mario's greatest adventures. And then just uh, some more information about the uh, the CD and the booklet, which is kind of interesting because there's really nothing additional revealed in here that wasn't already mentioned on the back of the box. But it is kind of nice to have that deluxe packaging, and I don't know, there's just something about that Velcro snap that's uh, satisfying. But anyway, yeah, that, that's a nice touch to the packaging there, even if it doesn't really serve any additional purpose. But uh, now we're ready to get into it. So as we open the top flap here, we can see that there, is, there are two uh, Wii size or DVD size cases in here. And if I remember, it's kind of a snug fit. Let's see. Oh, no, they're coming out easily. Well, one of them is anyway. Well, we'll set that aside. And what comes out is a DVD case that has the booklet and the soundtrack CD for the 25th anniversary. And this is really kind of a nice retro shot here. I got an old school CRT TV, the Nintendo Entertainment System with the Super Mario Brothers retail packaging, and then some other game packs right there too. So that's kind of a nice retro shot, even with some retro wallpaper in the background, which, I don't know, honestly looks a little more 70s to me than uh, 1985, but... Whatever, it's still quite retro. On the back, what you get is a track listing. Uh, I'm not going to go through each one here, but I will hold it up and give you a chance to pause it if you want to take a look and see what the track listing is, although it's always on the internet too. But if we open up this red case, we've got the CD here. And if I remember, yeah, it says, this audio compact disc cannot be played on the Wii console. The Wii console couldn't even play music CDs. So uh, you'd have to put it in a CD player in order to hear it. But here's the booklet that came with it. Super Mario History. Got some screenshots of all the different games, kind of making up the pixel art of this Mario character. And then on the back here, this is kind of what Nintendo deemed as the official Mario chronology. Not a whole lot of side games or one-offs were mentioned here, but got the original trilogy. Super Nintendo releases here, and there's Super Mario All-Stars for Super Nintendo. That's what you're getting with this release here. Mario 64, Sunshine, they're including New Super Mario Brothers for the uh, DS and New Super Mario Brothers Wii for the Wii, and of course the Galaxy games as well. And since 2010 there have been several more additions made to the Mario series. But let's just take a brief look inside the book here. Got some ni nice uh, finished art here from uh, several games in the series, and Mario bopping the 25th anniversary coin box. A little bit of a chronology here, not only the Mario games, but the systems that they were played on as well. The father of Super Mario looks like he gives some history into the developers of the game. And then it looks like we have a screenshot and the box and cart for the original game here, as well as... Um, an original kind of schematic, I guess, or kind of uh, an outline, a plan on graph paper here of how they were going to uh, plan out some of the stages, which is, I guess, how they were doing it back in the day. But it kind of gives the original release date, too, along the left-hand side here. 10-18-1985. I was five years old. Going to be six very soon. And then just some more sketches for Super Mario Brothers on graph paper. Same kind of treatment for Super Mario Brothers 2 and Super Mario Brothers 3, but they each only get one page. Release dates on the side. The NE Super NES offerings get a similar treatment here. N64's Super Mario 64 with some concept art there on the right hand side. 
Super Mario Sunshine, which is now available. Same with Mario 64 on the 3D All-Stars game we'll take a look at. The DS game. More Wii games and Galaxy, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, and Super Mario Galaxy 2, which hopefully will receive a similar treatment to Super Mario Galaxy. And then just a couple more pages, it looks like, of some concept art here. And these things are very nice, but that was one of the criticisms levied against this, is that there's just not a whole lot of information. It's mainly just pictures, which is still nice. That's pretty cool. It looks like the uh, Japanese staff forming the number 25 for Mario's 25th anniversary. And then a little note by Shigeru Miyamoto. And then we've got more of the finished character art there. So this booklet is kind of a nice touch. doesn't have a whole lot of information to it, but it still is a nice companion to the CD. So that's kind of the 25th anniversary celebration component of this package here. And then the other is the Super Mario All-Stars game, which is pretty much, like I said, just a Super NES version, just on a Wii disc, which apparently is in my console. Um, I don't have it here right now. So, there we go. There is Super Mario All-Stars, which was released in 2010 for Mario's 25th anniversary. Now, Super Mario Maker, this was released in 2015, around the time of the 30th anniversary for Super Mario. Um, but this, to my recollection, was never really touted as like an anniversary piece. The only reason I kind of think of it that way is because of the poster uh, that I got with it. I think I pre-ordered this at GameStop uh, back then, and the poster does very clearly say that it's Mario's 35th anniversary. And then it goes through kind of a chronology of all those games leading up to and ending with uh, Super Mario Maker at that time so um, uh, that's why I'm kind of including that here and because it also it's got kind of a similar treatment here it's it's got the box which Wii games didn't usually come in and then it also has a book but this was the very first Super Mario Maker game before the 3DS version and before the Nintendo Switch version so this concept was brand new at this time uh, back in 2010 so they're going through about how you can make your own stages and play the ones that are part of the game and online and all those kinds of things. So if we open up the box here, we have just one case in here, but there's also a book. We'll take a look at the book first. Got kind of a nice matte finish. Let me see what it says the book is supposed to be. What does it say on the front here? Idea book included. All right, let's see what the ideas are. Super Mario Maker. All right, well, there's the first screen of Super Mario Brothers. Okay, so there's codes in here that you plug into the game and so you can get those things. Now, that's not a very good use of space, is it? <laughs> Interesting. Idea book. Now you got to supplement a lot of your own imagination, I think, because outside of these codes that they're giving you to use these things in game, it pretty much just kind of looks like art. And I see some concept art coming up here. There's some pixel art from the original Super Mario Brothers. Looks like there's some original concept art, course design, jumps. Oh yeah, I remember that from Mario Maker. Kind of creepy. But yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of ideas. I, based on the concept of an idea book, I would almost think that it'd be like the Mario Paint Player's Guide, which uh, we'll probably take a look at in my, uh, my uh, video of Super NES Player's Guides, because that certainly had ideas. Told you how to do things, but you really got to use your imagination to kind of follow through on some of these things aside from the codes, like I said. So this basically just kind of looks like an art book with a couple ideas and codes in there. Still nice to have. Most games uh, didn't have anything like this. and This was kind of the limited edition at the time. 
because you could have bought the game too without this. It came in uh, just the standard case. So yeah, just keep going. Got some more codes. Got some more screenshots to kind of spark some ideas, perhaps. But outside of that, I guess you could say there isn't a whole lot here. Mario Course Flashback. Are they going to give us every single graph paper design? They are. That's pretty cool, actually. That's neat. Maybe the book is worth it just for this. This is the background planning sheet. I'm assuming that's what BG means. Neat. Man, that's painstaking work, having to plan all that out block by block. That's actually pretty cool to see for some of the stages. And uh, actually, it's the whole first world, it looks like. Or was it? No. We're going World 1, 2, 2, 2, and then World 1, 4. So just a sampling of them. Pretty cool. But like I said, to my recollection, this wasn't really touted as anything, because you don't even see it on the packaging here, celebrating Mario's 30, 30th anniversary. But it was still nice to have the deluxe edition here to celebrate that. So then you've got the game. And this one I actually do have the disc in the case for, but oh my gosh, this is the point where they stopped giving you instruction manuals. Oh, so sad. I do miss those. Instead, viewing the electronic manual, which actually on the Wii U was pretty pretty cool because you could use the stylus and bring it up on the touchpad. But um, uh, no instruction manual. So this was uh, kind of right around the time when that stuff was starting. So we got Mario's 25th anniversary in Super Mario All-Stars. Kind of an unofficial celebration of his 30th anniversary with Super Mario Maker. And then today, we've got one of many things uh, that are coming out from Nintendo to celebrate Mario's 35th anniversary. This came to me from Amazon today. This is Mario's Super... Uh, <laughs> I forgot the name of the game for a second. Uh, Mario's 3D All-Stars. So here we go. Tear here to open. There we go. Waha! Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So you got Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. And hopefully, if not in this package, sometime soon, Super Mario Galaxy 2. So, jump, slide, and soar through Mario's 3D platforming history, or at least some of it. Neat thing about this is it also has soundtracks. You've probably heard that there's a soundtrack menu where you can actually play them on the system, unlike the, uh, the 25th anniversary of Super Mario All-Stars where you had to use a CD player. So, let's take a look. Before I crack it open, uh, I actually just saw a um, news story saying that some people were upset about the uh, label art on the actual game card, at least in North America, because it was kind of pushed off to the side for the uh, ESRB rating. So let's see, uh, see how that holds true. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Seems like in other regions that the uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars logo is just kind of nice and centered right in the middle of the card. But here we have this actually rather large E for everyone ESRB rating. It's kind of uh, pushing, pushing that off to the side. But uh, that's all we get. We just got some screenshots here. No manual, no documentation, nothing that kind of really indicates that this is for the 35th anniversary. But Nintendo has some other things planned for that, as I'm sure that you've seen already. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys for taking a look at this video. So I wanted to walk us through a little bit of the way that Nintendo has uh, celebrated Mario's anniversary throughout the last 10 years. In 2010 for the 25th with Super Mario All-Stars, in 2015 with Super Mario Maker for his 30th, and now in 2020 for his 35th anniversary with Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So I want to thank you again for watching, and until next time, you'll see me at that point. Take care.